Hello friends and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial here on our channel. Putting up the pom-poms, I am Shantae, the mother of the three gorgeous pom-pom sisters. And in this video, we have my youngest baby girl, Calista here, and she's gonna be showing you her three styles that she wore for the past couple of weeks. It was donut buns and bantu knots was the theme for these past three hairstyles. So I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved these looks as well as the products that we used. Of course, before we go any further, if you are new to our channel, do not forget and do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button, come and join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight on into it. I have Calista here, freshly washed, and I'm going in with the Aunt Jackie's Not Having It Detangler. It is a nice lightweight leave-in conditioner that I love to use to help with with detangling her hair because it softens her hair very well and I use my tangle teaser to work out any kinks or knots that we have so now I'm going in with a part going from ear to ear across the crown because I want this back section to be a donut bun so I'm going in with my favorite gel of all time the shine effects um, conditioning gel I use this gel for literally everything it works great on the girls hair I have no issues with it at all has a great hold and I love that it adds shine to their hair as well I'm going in with two black rubber bands in the back and then we're gonna move on to the front section of her hair where I decided to do a zigzag part down the middle and we're gonna create two braided ponytails right here in this section of course applying my gel to her edges to make sure her edges stay nice sleek and smooth and then I'm going in with two elastic rubber bands for these sections these sections are a little bit smaller and this is also the front of her head where I don't want her to experience a lot of tension around the forehead area and the elastic bands and make sure that she doesn't experience any breakage as well so I'm braiding that one down and then later we are going to add some beads to the end but we're going to move on to the other side of her head and do the exact same thing we're going to add in those two elastic bands and then plait it down to add our beads so just before I add those beads, I do want to show you guys how I uh, attach her donut buns. So Calista has fine curly hair, so she doesn't have the thickness that her older sisters experience when it comes to their hair growth. So I do have to kind of finesse these donut buns to work with me so that they cover the entire foam. So I have to go in with a small one. I believe this size is a four centimeter. I'm not 100% sure, but it is a small foam donut bun. And what I do is I pull her hair completely through and I have to wrap her hair around the donut bun versus doing that regular way where you kind of fold the hair over it and then secure it with the rubber band I have to constantly keep wrapping her hair through now this can be a little tricky especially if you are not familiar with doing this way but it can also be a little tricky when it comes time to removing it because her hair can get kind of wrapped up around that bun so you definitely have to take your time in removing that donut bun I secure it with some bobby pins and I did add a hairnet to help help with the flyaways but I ended up taking it out later so here are the beads that we are going to be using I purchased these beads off of Amazon and if you are new to our channel boo loves beads she loves her hair beads anytime I pull them out she gets like, super excited so I'm going in with some blue and some crystal rhinestone looking beads to those two braided plaits that we did in the front and you just fold the hair over the last bead and then rubber band it down now she has this long piece of hair that's hanging out now I, what I do is I fish my hair beater back through the beads pull the hair through the loop and then pull it through up the shaft of the bead so it's hidden as you can see that hair is no longer hanging out and this is it I added her two hair bows on top also purchased through our Amazon storefront and we're gonna move on to the next hairstyle now for this one I want to do two donut buns as I was progressing through her donut bun phase I just felt like adding more donut buns I was trying to see how far we could take it so for this one I'm starting with a part going straight down the middle starting at the forehead and all the way down to the nape of the neck go in with my shine effects conditioning gel to clean up my parts I love clean parts around here they might not be straight but they will be clean then we're going to move into doing like a quarter 
circle part so what I was trying to do is like a half circle in the front so one that's not really a half it's a quarter of a circle you stay with me okay so rubber band that up with an elastic band again I use the elastic bands on the smaller ponytails and then I'm going to create another quarter of a part circle but this time I'm going to divide that one in half so what we're going to essentially have going on is that, that first ponytail we created is pretty much going to connect the dots split it in half to those last two ponytails now here I'm having problems with my ring light you see she going in and out she would not stay on it's time for her to retire I've had her for three years so yeah it's time for a new one I will be in the market for a new ring light so back to the hairstyle I'm securing those ponytails again using my colorful elastic bands I love colors around here and I definitely love decorating with elastic bands I'm then going in with the pretty strands butter benefits leave-in cream I love this stuff I've been using it for the past couple of months on all of my girls and it works wonderful so I'm adding that in to help with uh, the moisture in her hair because her hair is a little dry Dry. and then we're going to secure that all into one ponytail using a black rubber band so I'm going in again with that donut bun using my same method that I used before I fold it over once and then I have to constantly keep looping her hair through to wrap it around the donut bun because she just does not have that thickness and this is where I can get her hair to pretty much cover the entire donut bun she has wonderful length she just doesn't have thick hair and that's okay two heads already have thick enough hair Hair. I don't need a third I am okay with this And she is all done that completes look number two this style lasted her one day because those donut buns did not last so now we're moving on to the very last one and like I said I was challenging myself to see how many donut buns Callista's head could carry um two was the max we tried to do three and homegirl told me about myself when I was trying to put those three donut buns in she was just like uh-uh this ain't gonna work so I'm starting off doing a part from ear to ear going across the top of the crown and I'm securing that with one single black rubber band and we're going to create three parts so I'm going to do a Another part going from ear to ear but it's going to go around the back of her head and secure that into one ponytail and y'all see my ring light is still acting up it's okay we're gonna keep it pushing and then that very last ponytail in the back that will make her third ponytail so my intentions was to create all these ponytails so I could create three donut buns that was my intentions <laughs> I'm gonna try me a donut bun. <laughs> you can't put that. <laughs> So Calissa told me she wasn't having it. She thought the hairstyle looked ugly with the donut bun. So I decided to just do band two knots. One, because her hair just was not thick enough to cover up the donut bun. And it did look awkward, y'all. I won't go have my baby looking crazy. I try to add some accessories to make it look cute. She still won't have it. That just lets you know that it can be your very own who can just tear the soul out of you okay but anyways guys that completed that look thank you for joining us on another hair tutorial here on our channel we greatly appreciate having y'all do not forget to check out our other videos and share this video to all your social media platforms be blessed and be safe